Hey, what's going on? And welcome to the video. You know, on this channel, I have covered some Freddy Krueger cosplay. Also, Michael Myers. As well as Jason Voorhees. Today, I'm going to cover some Leatherface. Gunnar Hansen, as Leatherface, wore cowboy boots. But did he wear more than one pair? I say that because in the movie, you can visibly see that he's wearing cowboy boots with some stitching on the side. But a few years ago, apparently a pair of his screen-used boots sold at auction. And those clearly had no stitching. So I speculate that to play Leatherface, he wore two pairs of boots. And my boots, as you can see, have no stitching. I bought these on eBay and they did come from Texas. Uh, I think they came from Fort Worth, Texas to be exact. So these are my Leatherface cosplay boots that I believe fit the part. I'm wearing uh, pants that cover this portion of the boot that would show the stitching. So, you know, it doesn't really make much of a difference, in my opinion. Leatherface's pants were a navy blue color. I believe they were uh, some kind of work pants. I'm not sure what the brand name of them were. Um, the pants that I got are Walmart specials that I paid like 15 bucks for. And I went ahead and I removed the brand logo on them. I didn't think it was necessary to have that on there. And then I pretty much wore them for a little bit, you know, to help uh, weather them and, uh, you know, give them a more lived in look. Hell, I'm still wearing them. Leatherface wore a dirty, striped, short sleeve, button up shirt, much like this one. This is an L.L. Bean shirt. It's a vintage 70s shirt made in the USA. I weathered this shirt using the coffee technique, as I like to call it. And weathering a shirt in coffee really gives it that dirty look. You know, you soak it in coffee for about 24 hours, longer if you'd like, take it out, let it hang dry, and voila, an instant dirty weathered leather face shirt. I purchased this tie from the TexasGasStation.com. They purchased the gas station from the uh, 1974 movie, and it is now a barbecue restaurant. And they also sell Texas Chainsaw Massacre merchandise, such as this tie. Uh, and the tie is like screen accurate, right down to the color and the clouds. These ties are made in New Zealand by a company called Magnoli Clothiers. Hell, I could probably wear this with a suit if I wanted to. It's that kind of quality, you know? But uh, yeah, an exact replica of Leatherface's tie. They also have other ties as well from the Leatherface series. So, hey, check them out. This is It's 
me, I'm back from the future. So I'm back because I needed to make a correction on something that I had previously recorded about Leatherface's apron. See, I have this apron here from Trick or Treat Studios and it's an awesome replica of Leatherface's apron. But it came with this, this chain on the back that to me made no sense. So what I had done previously was I removed the chain and I went ahead and put on some, some, some cotton strings. Basically I put apron strings on this thing because I could not figure out why Trick or Treat Studios would have done something like this, added something like this to this awesome apron. And then I saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre in 4K and I saw it. Near the beginning of the movie where he captures his uh, first uh, female victim, just as he's about to put her up on that meat hook, you can visibly see these chains dangling in the back. So I went ahead and converted back to the chain. The chain is screen accurate. Trick or Treat Studios, licensed Texas Chainsaw Massacre apron. Oh hell yeah. And it's 100% polyester, unlike the screen used apron, which was made from vinyl. A replica of the screen used saw is very hard to find. This is one that I purchased from Spear Halloween a few Halloweens back and I painted it to be more screen accurate. It was all black so I added the yellow, some tape on the, the handles, as well as the electrical tape that covered the name brand, just like in the movie. So in this video, uh, I'm focusing mainly on the killing mask. Not the pretty woman or the old, old lady mask. No, I'm mainly focusing on the killing mask. And to achieve that look, I figure you have two choices. You can use the Trick or Treat Studios killing mask which has the teeth sculpted into it or you can find a replica made by an independent artist like this one but you'll have to wear some fake teeth to better achieve the look well that pretty much covers the Leatherface cosplay if you want to take it a little bit further you can also find on Etsy a replica of the bracelet that Leatherface wears that he took from one of his female victims. As well, if you really want to do it right, Gunner's role as Leatherface, according to IMBD, marked the first and only time that he shaved off his beard and he never shaved it again. Oh, what the hell. Well, that's my Leatherface cosplay video. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for... Say, so, you know what? I don't approve of that, but that's okay. If you want to shave, it grows back. But you know what? 
there's somebody here that I'd like for you to meet. He'll be right in.